Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Alban Runner Beer Review Beer Mail Unboxing. Uh, this beer mail is from a beautiful French wizard. That's right, a French wizard with his amazing wizardry sent this beer out. This would be from Guy from uh, Drinking in Canada, formerly Beer Guy Reviews. Uh, what can we say about this box? Uh, he posted a picture of a beer from one of the breweries that me and him went to when I was last up in Ottawa visiting my family. And I said, oh man, that looks amazing. I didn't know they canned. And he goes, oh, my beer minion is picking me up some. It'll be coming to you soon with some other stuff I picked up. And I'm like, oh, I didn't actually expect to get anything. I was just uh, commenting that the can looked amazing. So, uh, I know one thing in here. I also know that I'm greatly appreciative. I, uh, am very close to 4,000 unique beers right now. So, we will, uh, see what we got in here, shall we? What we got? What we got is, uh, some garbage. Alrighty, look at that. Glad I was using my Texas toothpick and didn't actually push in there too hard. Oh, okay, stuff in padded envelopes. With some bubble wrap. Now, as always, I believe in beer karma, so there will be a return beer mail going his way at some point, but probably not until after my uh, next child is born. Ooh, okay, so this is from Baron Artisanal. I don't know what Baron Artisanal is. I'll read it later on, but this is an alcoholic root beer. Alrighty, so we'll just put that right over there. Next we have... From Covered Bridge Brewing Company... Their Double Double Mocha Stout. Now that, that sounds awesome. Uh, let's just move this camera back here just a little bit. Maybe the lighting will be better, maybe. Next is, oh, this is the one that we were talking about. This is Bridge Over the River by uh, Covered Bridge Brewing Company. This is their chai. And, uh, fuck, come on. There we go. They're chai spiced ale. So, there we go. Ugh, sorry guys, I'm just, uh, there we go. Editing the, the tripod a little bit. Not that it's doing much. Uh, 1012 Blonde Ale is next from Nita. The 1012 Blonde Ale. I don't remember if we had that one when we visited Nita. Uh, when we were in Ottawa. I could ask my wife. She was there and hated every second of everything we did. Uh, this is a brown ale by uh, the Covered Bridge in Stittsville. This is the MSB. I'm glad to get a whole bunch of beers from... <sighs> The Covered Bridge. Now, you could hear me breathing funny on this video, and I apologize for that. Uh, this is from The Covered Bridge. This is Amber Rose, which is an amber ale. Um, I like amber ales. That, uh, can or it might trigger some people in the beer industry. Yeah, so you might hear me breathing funny. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I spilt a whole bunch of ghost pepper powder on the burner upstairs. <coughs> and then, uh, <coughs> my wife made eggs this morning, and I forgot to clean that ghost powder, uh, powder off, and now it's all up in the air, and yeah. Um, Covered Bridge, Mustache Smash, which is a smash, Smash IPA. I don't know if it's going to tell me what, uh... What's the single malt? But we'll look it up later. Uh, almost done here, I do believe. I think one more bottle, one more can, and then whatever's in that envelope. 
Ooh, another, uh, another beer from Covered Bridge. This is their Eternally Hoptimistic. Nice. Covered Bridge canning. Uh, I don't know how they're canning. Um, if you guys live up the, in that area and you go there often, uh, do they have a canning... Do they have a little canning line there? Are they using a mobile canner? Did they expand? Because they were they were pretty small when I was uh, up there. I wouldn't have thought that they would be able to uh, fit a canning line in there. And last but not least, a big bottle from St. Ambrose, or St. Amboise. This is uh, a barrel-aged scotch ale. Wow, that's a... Uh, that's nice. I don't think I've ever had a barrel aged scotch ale. So, from the albino one to the amazing French wizard, thank you very much. And yeah, these will be added to the couple beers I have left on the floor. Uh, I think there's only like eight left over there now. So these will be added to that, and we'll go from there. Uh, later on today, I will go through this box, see what of this can be recycled, and what can't. Most of it can. It's a lot of little cardboard pieces, so most of it will be recycled, and then the box will join my collection of other boxes. And like I said, some beer karma will come back, but again, not until probably after my child is born. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.